Previously, we learned how to fetch data in client components. Now, let's learn how to fetch data in server components. One of the coolest things about the RSC architecture is that it supports async and await keywords in server components. This means we can write our data fetching code just like regular JavaScript using async functions coupled with the await keyword. Let me show you how this works with an example. We will once again use the slash users in point from JSON placeholder for our mock API. We're going to fetch this user's data and display each user's name, username, email, and phone number in our Next.js server component. Let's jump into VS Code and get started. Inside your app folder, create a new folder called users-server and add a page.tsx file inside it. I chose the name users-server since we're handling user data in a server component, but feel free to name it as you see fit. First, let's define our TypeScript type for the users. We will keep it simple and just include the fields we care about. ID, name, username, email, and phone, similar to data fetching in client components. So I'm going to copy type user and paste it in the new page.tsx file. For our component, we will call it users server. So export default function users server. Make this component async since server components support async operations. Now here is where it gets really simple. To fetch our user's data, we just need to make a GET request to the user's endpoint using the fetch API. So const response is equal to await fetch, and the URL is jsonplaceholder.typeecode.com slash users. In the next line, const users of type user array is equal to await response.json. And let's console log the value users. When you save this and check out slash users server in the browser, users hyphen server, take a look at the console, you'll see the user list consisting of 10 users. Our data fetching is working. All there is left to do is display the users on the screen. Simply copy the return statement from the client component we previously created and paste it in the server component. Delete the console log statement. We map over the list of users where each user is defined by the user type. We render the user's name, username, email, and phone number. The classes are primarily for styling, so don't stress too much about achieving this exact layout and UI. Save the file, and you should see all 10 users being displayed. The route is slash users hyphen server. We have successfully fetched data in server components. Now here is something really cool you should know about. When building Next.js applications, you'll often end up fetching the same data in multiple places, like how request B appears across six different components in our tree to load a single route. You might think this would trigger multiple network requests for the same data, but React cleverly handles this through a feature called request memoization. React will deduplicate fetch requests with the same URL and options. This means you can fetch data wherever you need it in your component tree without worrying about duplicate network requests. React will only make the actual fetch once and reuse the result for subsequent calls during the same render pass. It's a React feature and thereby included in Next.js, letting you write data fetching code exactly where you need it rather than having to centralize fetches and pass data down through props. Notice how simple data fetching is with server components, just async await with the fetch API. No use state, no use effect, none of that state management complexity we usually deal with. Speaking of state though, you might be wondering about handling, loading, and error states in server components. Well, that is exactly what we will explore next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.